Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about some of the harmful activities of the kingdom Monera or harmful activities of bacteria. So what are those? The very first or common type of activity or harmful activity is spoilage of food. These bacteria, mostly saprophytic bacteria, these are responsible for destruction or rotting of food materials like it causes rotting of various carbohydrates, fruits, all types of daily uh, food items which we are using are uh, rotten or destroyed, damaged by these type of bacteria. So it actually uh, causes the spoilage of food items. It causes food poisoning. So this is one of the most common diseases in case of human beings. For example, botulism we know is a type of food poisoning disease. This is caused by an organism which is known as Clostridium botulinum. There are other types of food poisoning uh, which happens like very commonly diarrhea, vomiting. So these bacteria, they actually are responsible for various type of food poisoning type of diseases that happens in case of human beings. It also causes deterioration of the domestic articles. For example, it causes the deterioration of leather, it causes deterioration of fiber, wood. So these type of domestic articles which we are using in our day to day life in our homes. So these are actually damaged or destroyed by bacteria. It causes destruction of penicillin. So we know penicillin is one of the most common antibiotics which are used for the treatment of various diseases caused by different type of bacteria. So penicillin is one of the most common antibiotics and it was the first discovered antibiotic by scientist Fleming. So uh, now organism called Bacillus brevis, they cause the destruction or uh, of the damage of the antibiotic penicillin. So if penicillin is destroyed, so we are unable to use penicillin no longer uh, as a uh, probable or a good antibiotic for the treatment of various bacterial diseases. It causes denitrification of soil. For example, there are some bacteria which converts nitrites into atmospheric gaseous oxygen, gaseous nitrogen. Now we know that plants are unable to use gaseous nitrogen as their nitrogen source, right? Now this gaseous nitrogen has to be converted into nitrites so that plants may use it. Now there are some bacteria like rhizobium which are present mostly in the root nodules of leguminous plants. They help in the conversion of these type of nitrogen to nitrites which can be used by plants. There is other uh, method like due to lightening there is uh, in atmosphere the nitrates or gaseous nitrogen gets converted to nitrites which come down to earth in the form of rain and these nitrates can be in turn used by plants for their uh, nutrition. Now there are some bacteria which causes which converts these nitrites to gaseous nitrogen. So the in the soil proper nitrogen source is now deteriorating or reducing the amount is reducing because of these type of bacteria. It also causes desulfurification of the soil. It converts sulfates to hydrogen sulfide. So again hydrogen sulfide cannot be used by the plants as a sulfur source. So these sulfates uh, are converted to hydrogen sulfide which is a gaseous form. Now these cannot be used by plants. So it causes desulfurification of the soil. So soil the content of sulfur in soil reduces because of these type of bacteria. Very importantly, it causes a lot or large number of diseases. For example, in case of animals, 90% of the diseases which happens in case of animals is caused by bacteria. And in case of plants, 40% of the diseases are caused by bacteria. So in this video, we have talked about various the harmful activities of the bacteria. We have also talked about the percentage of the amount of diseases caused by this type of bacteria in case of plants and in case of animals. So I hope you have understood and like this video. Thank you.